Hey guys, this is Morkberg here, and I'm going to answer the question, will the current TrackPhone SIM kit work with your old T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T phones? So, these here, this is the Nokia 6030 on T-Mobile. This is the LG VX8300 for Verizon. And then this is the Motorola Razr 2 V9 for AT&T. Now the reason I chose these out of any other devices in my collection is because they're all from around the same time period being 2006 to 2007 which I think is pretty good for this here. So anyways this is the current SIM card kit you can get at Target. Usually you can find them with the unlocked phones. And here it says keep your own smartphone SIM kit and standard size here means that it will work with these old phones. And here you can see works with one of America's top three 4G LTE networks. So and here's Verizon, AT&T and T-Mobile. So the reason why it says Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile is because there's three different SIM cards in here, one for each network. So we can actually take a look at this here. Right here for AT&T it says compatible with AT&T or unlocked Cricket and other unlocked GSM phones. Here it is basically saying the same thing except for T-Mobile and Metro PCS. And then here it's saying compatible with unlocked and used Verizon LTE phones so this is important here for the Verizon phone because it means this here this LG VX 8300 and basically all other Verizon phones from this time do not support LTE so this phone here will not work with the Verizon SIM card in here and also I could show you taking off the back and the battery. I'm not sure if you can tell but where would you put a SIM card in here? So that basically gets this phone out of the question. So that just leaves us with these two phones here taking uh, off the batteries on here you can see that these two have SIM card slots for the Motorola it's right here and for the Nokia it's right here so now that we have these open let's get the SIM card kit opened up right here it says tear to open alright and opening it up here's our AT&T SIM kit right here I'm going to start with this one here so as you can tell this is a, a triple cut SIM card kit so it has your nano micro and standard SIM cards so since this here phone takes a standard size SIM card that's what I'm going to just push off. So here is our AT&T SIM card kit ready to go. Let's install it into the phone as how to properly install it in this phone which is with the uh, different corner in on the left side from this way there's actually a, a picture reflecting that let's get the back cover back on and then turn on the phone now if this worked it'll take me to the main screen of the phone
bit of, a little bit of lag there. Registering. Okay, and that works. This SIM card, the TrackPhone AT&T SIM card, works in this old AT&T flip phone. So we can shut this off now. And now, let's get our T-Mobile SIM card, which is right here. No, this is our Verizon SIM card. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is just terms and conditions. Don't need that. There we go, that actually came off pretty cleanly this time. So just lift up the tray here and set the SIM card in. Just making sure that was installed properly. Stick our battery in, push the back cover back on. Well actually it's slide it back on. And now this back cover is a bit damaged so it is good be a bit to get it on properly and if this worked we should be greeted with the T-Mobile jingle and be directed to the main screen of this phone so let's try it And there we go, that worked perfectly. So, the T-Mobile SIM card from the $1 TrackPhone SIM card kit will work in this phone. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for you. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, peace.